become parents, um, you think about what you want for your kids. You want them to be healthy. You want them to be happy. You want them to be smart. You want them to be strong. You want them to become courageous. Life's not easy. Good times, bad times. You get to see your kids when they're not well. You get to see your kids when they're well. It's been a joy to see David and Laura both smile together. All right, so we just want to see really quick a show of hands. Who do you think's boy? Who do you think, who thinks girl? Finding your other half doesn't mean the rest of your life is easy. It means you get to share the joy together. It means you get to be there for each other when it's not so much fun. We can't wait to see your baby. On behalf of your families and your friends, we're happy to see the joy on your faces. Be strong for each other. Be happy together. Cheers. Cheers. David and Laura have come before the Lord to commemorate and renew their solemn vows of matrimony, which they first spoke to each other about 18 months ago. My math is right. My friends, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make His face shine on you and be gracious to you. I pray that He looks upon you with favor and that He gives you His peace. David, do you in the presence of God and of all these beautiful people who are gathered here today, do you reaffirm the pledge that you made when you took Laura as your wife? If so, say, I do. I do. Laura, do you in the presence of God and of all these wonderful people here, can, do you reaffirm the pledge that you made when you took David as your husband? If so, say, I do. I do. wife. I reaffirm my sincere promise to be your husband, and I implore the blessing of the Lord Jesus Christ, that renewed by his loving kindness and sustained by his grace, I will be faithful until death parts us. David, my beloved husband, I reaffirm my sincere promise to be your wife, and I implore the blessing of Jesus Christ, that renewed by his loving kindness and sustained by his grace, I will be faithful until death parts us. All I kept thinking about was going back to my own wedding and when grandma and grandpa were on the dance floor and they were asked to give, because they're the longest uh, married couple in the room, asked to give the best wedding advice uh, for a lifelong happiness. And she said, just keep loving him. Love him and love him and love him and love him and love him. And that is just really what I wanted to share because um, marriage can be beautiful, it can also be hard, and then it can be even harder than hard. And some days, just, just that love for each other, that is what just makes it happen. Like to, I know a lot of people have come far and near to help Laura and David celebrate the renewal of vows. I know uh, that you love my daughter and that you will take care of her. And uh, thank you for that. That's all, all Debbie and I can ask for is that you uh, love and take care of my daughter. I would not
not change a single thing about her. Like, we absolutely love her. And guess what? We love Dave, too. I mean, he's just here. So, I couldn't be more happy for Dave and Laura and the future. They're bringing a baby into this world, and I could not be more excited for a baby. And I'm an uncle. Hey. Get a. Yeah. So, I'm so happy for them. So, I love you both and the best future for both of y'all. So. We'll be right back.